Welcome back to Consultants Corner. I'm Rebecca Britzi. This is my corner. I am a consultant. Why do clients really buy from you? I talk a lot about how nobody actually wants your product or service. What does the client actually want in that case? I have a post on my blog. I'll put a link to that in the description of the video below in which I'm talking about everything that happens for your client after you have left the room, not while you are serving them, not while you are giving them your product and they are using it, but actually long afterwards. And that that is the thing that your clients are actually buying. Your clients have a problem, then they hire you and work with you. And sometime after that, they are doing something or achieving something that they could not do or achieve before. This is what they're buying, this result. They have to work with you in order to get that result. This is something I focus on quite a bit, is this understanding the client after the fact. And it actually ties in with a lot of my unmotivational videos here about the weakness of focusing only on your passion. When you talk exclusively about your passion, it is your passion to do this, it is your passion to help people, you are following your passion. The problem is you're talking too much about yourself. If I'm buying from you, it's nice to know that you have a passion, but what does that do for me? You can fall into a trap of being self-centered, of creating a value proposition that is entirely me-centric. And a business doesn't create value through being me-centric. A business creates value for itself by creating value for its clients. That has to happen before the business reaps the benefits of that value. The value you bring to your client is that thing that is happening after you have left the room. To talk about what you do, I want you to talk about your clients, but not just what your clients are doing when they're interacting with you. I want you to talk about what your clients are doing after you've left the room. What is making your clients smile over here, whether it's two days, two months, or a year. This is the value that you are creating for your clients, which means that this is how you create value for your own business as well. It's not that hard to do. It requires some analysis so that you're minimizing guessing and really creating a picture that you can rely on. And to walk you through this process, check out my course on customer profiles, linked to, as always, underneath this video. In the course, we go through what happens before, what happens during, what happens after, you are in the room. But your homework from this video is to write this out. What is it that happens after you have left the room? What is it that makes your clients smile long after you're gone in a way that they would not have been able to smile had they not hired and engaged you? That's the value you bring to the world. That's how you reap value back into your business. Understand what your clients are really buying by understanding what happens after you have left their room. Resources are once again, the blog post that is linked to below, my online course that is also linked to below. Do your homework and share results in the comments. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye now.